So, took a gamble on a Chinese copy carby for a CRF-150. Everybody knows these give a lot of trouble with the carbies, especially... Oh. Well, there's a first impress. We've got a variety of jets. Wasn't expecting that. That wasn't in the listing. I've had good and bad experiences with Chinese copies of things in the past. But this one, we're in Australia. This one's been got in from the States for about a fifth of the price of a genuine carby here in Australia. So, I'm risking it. Another variety of jets. Uh, I was expecting to have to use the jets out of my genuine one. Uh, my thinking is that even if this carb is a fail, I might be able to use the body to replace the body on the one that's on the bike that's worn out. So, certainly looks the part. It looks like a genuine item. You know, one handed, one set. I'll get it out. First impressions? <laughs> First impressions are better than I thought. I was expecting dodgy casting and, you know, that rough look that you get from a lot of Chinese copies. Choke stays out. It's got a TPS. Pretty sure that's even the right plug. I'm going to pull it apart and have a look in a sec. And a bonus couple of dollar filter. It's got a new piece there for the, I think I'll just put the old hot starter straight in, but they're, they're not cheap to buy by themselves. And it'll be interesting to see where the accelerator pump timing is, is set up right. Probably have to put the, the standard sort of uh, O-ring mod in there. I reckon I'm just going to whack the jet straight in there out of the other one. 45 main and see what it goes like. Uh, side by side visuals, the first thing I'm noticing is there's a longer casting over the mixture screw here. Not necessarily a bad thing. They're quite annoying to get onto. This might actually guide your screwdriver on there if you don't want to get one of those uh, one of those thumb screw ones or a flexi one. No obvious differences yet. I'll do some measuring in a minute and see. Is it going to stay there? Stay, stay. And uh, and we'll see. Now look, there's nothing significantly different. What's that in there? Slightly different casting in there. Oh, well, let's pull it apart. So, the main tapered needle seems to have a different way of attaching on the original to the Chinese one. But all the dimensions still looking the same, so we'll see whether that's any consequence. Well, firstly, I can tell you, I just had a fine battle getting that that Phillips head screw out, as opposed to the Torx bit. And if it's the same thread, I'll definitely be using the Torx bit, because that was not pleasant. And it is the same thread, so that's the first bit that's going in. Simple screw change. All right, let's compare the slides. Feels very plasticky. Let's have a compare. Okay. Uh, Yeah, this bit feels a bit cheap. Let's see how it compares. Hmm, so we've got... So 
sorry, we've got this one which is some sort of cast metal. You can see. And this one. Oh, I don't know, maybe it's just got the Teflon coating, maybe it is. Hmm, it's metal. Doesn't look it. Maybe that's what that one's supposed to look like. And these wheels which are worn out on the other one. Hmm, they seem quite adequate. Oh, you could swap that one into the other one. Okay, so I'm still impressed. So this is the old one. You can see the wear down the side of the body, letting the air through. Poor idle. And that one is just machine flat. And I don't think you'd tell them apart. Slightly poor machining. Actually wear that there's that flash light shining on it. You can see the imperfection is better. Uh, with the eye, it hasn't got that groove down it like the other one. It'll be fine. The, the needles, apart from the very tip, can't tell them apart. When I've got the camera in my hand, I'll put a micrometer on them and see them. But visually, they look identical. Throats are the same size. Same size there too. Let's take the bowl off and have a look. Bowls look identical. I'm noticing the original float is sinking, in other words, the new one, the float level's not as high. Don't know whether to leave that for now or I'm tempted to bump it up a bit, given the bike has lean problems, generally speaking. Let's see if the jets compare. They certainly look like they do. I reckon I could have whacked that straight on the bike and it wouldn't have been too bad. And I could screw one into the other. They're identical. I think I'm going to whack it back in and work from that as a base. The leak jet actually has no markings, but it's tiny compared with the original. I'm actually going to leave it like that. I was thinking about changing that leak jet. So basically, I'm going to, I'm going to put it back together and run it as it came, other than changing that torque screw over. The mixture screw came one and a half turns out, so I'm going to leave it there. And I'm not going to adjust that float either. I'm going to whack it back together and see how it goes. It turns out the hot starter, the little brass plunger, is microscopically smaller in the Chinese one. So the original Honda one is just, it'll go into the carby, but it's just frighteningly tight. I reckon you'd have to give it a bit of a rub down with wet and dry. I'm just going to use the Chinese one. I'll keep that one. I might need it in the future. Turns out TPS is not the same plug, but it is the same physical size, so I'm just swapping them over. Could change the plug if needed. The cable ends didn't sit quite as snug in the throttle wheel. They're all right now. They took a little bit of a battle to get them sitting nicely. All right, turn the fuel on. No leaks. <laughs> 